All right, so uh, today's the day. Uh, Gold Lewis Dickinson has come out, and we're going to be taking a look at his theme. Uh, no fancy guitar playing intro today like everybody else, because this is, well, I mean, this is the uh, brand new character, his first iteration in the series, so don't know what I could really play that'd be necessary, or not necessary, that would be appropriate. So, uh, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and let's uh, just jump right into it. Let's go take a look at the Kiss of Death, which is uh, pretty sure that's a Dawkins song, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and let's, um, I believe Kiss of Death is DOA, the... That song, I think, right? I think that's Kiss of Death by Dokken. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's listen to Gold Lewis Dickinson's theme, which I've had we've had the fortune of listening to parts of it in the trailer. We figured out it was on a seven string, so it was on one of these bad boys. We've done a couple of songs on the uh, seven string so far, and we know the riff. The riff is gonna be that. <laughs> Right? Good riff, good riff. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's hear what the whole song sounds like. Okay, starting off with some synths. It's like some saw synths that are playing the melody. Mm hmm. Okay, so it's a little bit of an awkward thing, but uh, that last part is... Something like that. I feel like I'm playing it wrong. Yeah. Okay, the it's not a big deal. We can handle it. This part I didn't really focus too much on. Like I didn't really hear the I couldn't hear the chords. But Okay. So, uh, that part, that next part, which is, uh, it sounds like a chorusy part, is gonna be the. It sounds like a. Sounds something like that. Let's go ahead. Let's go back. I'm messing up. Yeah. Nice note. That's a good note. <laughs> I love his range. He has such a good range. Hang on. Hang on. That was different. What was that? <laughs> That's uh, that, that was like something that was Devin Townsend y, right? That sounds like something that you'd hear from Devin Townsend. But, um, what I really like about his theme so far is that it's uh, he's a big dude, right? Goldstein, Goldstein, I keep calling him Goldstein, Go Gold Lewis, 
is a massive fucking unit, right? Look at how big this man is. And he's not the fastest character in the game, he's not the slowest character in the game, but they gave him a theme that sounds slower than, like, Potemkin's theme, right? Like, you've got just a... you got just this... Right, and then the only real fast part is was the chorus. The right, whatever the chorusy part is, that's like so far the fastest thing in the song. We still got, you know, three minutes left, so maybe it'll be faster. But he's got a slow theme; it fits. You know, it's it's fit. It's in line with what the character kind of is, since he's not super quick and he's not super slow. It is kind of funny that it is like slightly slower than to Potemkin's theme, at least from memory. It is okay. Okay, I gotta listen to that. Because that was a cool part. Okay. And now we're back into the intro. So this one, that also kind of sounds like a chorusy part. That's a nice little lick there. Okay. This whole song grooves. That's what I'm digging. This whole song is just groove. Right? Right. You can kinda you can kinda get into it. You know, it's groovy. So yeah, it's like these it's it's only a few different parts. There's only like three real parts of this song so far. Okay, now we're picking up the speed. We got the solo. Okay, it's like gotten into like double time. Okay. I like the solo, it's pretty good so far. This is it's like it's a very dream theater y uh What is it reminding me of? It's it's like the uh It's reminding me of something off of, um, what is it? Train of Thought? Oh man, I'm, I suck on my Dream Theater albums right now. But, uh, the one where as, it's not As I Am, but it's like off that same album, I think. It sounds like a seven string John Petrucci riff, right? And, uh, then there was that cool part that sounds like Devin Townsend. Um, this last minute. This, like, last minute and a half or whatever is actually getting pretty nuts. Uh, they picked up the speed. They got a really... This guy just ripped a pretty good-ass solo. Where is it? Here it comes.
And then we got some arpeggios, man. I love it. I love it. The... I'm not much of an arpeggio man, but uh, yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's a, it reminds me of like a dream theater ish solo. So I love it. I love this last half. And then we got, we're going back to the big slow part, right? And then, okay, okay, we double time this part. And it just ends, no big deal. And then, boom, ends. All right, all right. I can dig it. I can dig this song. Uh, it's not the most intricate, complex thing in the world, but like, I feel that's just Goldstein's Goldstein. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> ignore and you know he's Goldstein from now on. No, uh, Gold Lewis doesn't seem like he's that deep, like super complex of a character. Like he seems pretty straightforward to me. Like. He is just the secretary of absolute defense. This man, this Iron Maiden, Megadeth, System of a Down, I guess, reference. People say he's like Lincoln. I guess he has a Lincoln Park reference. I don't know Lincoln Park very well. So I can't, I can't comment on that. But this man seems pretty straightforward. He's just got a coffin from Area 51 with an alien in it. And uh, yeah, he is the secretary of absolute defense. And... Uh, it just seems like he uh it seems like his theme probably fits in pretty well uh i've never i haven't touched the story mode at all so i don't know but uh i do like it it revolves around three real main parts which is you know they have the intro with that riff and then you have the uh which is more like a uh like a rock 80s ish kind of riff you're just playing it on a seven string you know you just got the, you got the gent note down there and then you've got the uh the other part the whatever it might be chorus or whatever the uh you know whatever that part is and then the last like minute and a half of the like during the last section when it goes into the solo you got some really cool you know Which I love, I love, love, love. Seven string riffs like that. It's great. Uh, there's some of my favorite riffs, you know. You know, they're fun riffs to play. And uh, yeah, that was really cool. Playing the solo over that is also a very Dream Theater thing. Um, they've done that a few times for, that I can think of. And, uh, yeah, no, it's, I dig the song, uh, even just because it's so simple, everything, uh, for the most part, like even the Eno theme has had some sort of, you know, intricate, super intricate guitar work. And this isn't really taking away from, uh, Gold Lewis's theme either, because sometimes straightforward is just fucking cool. Sometimes you just want to chug along and play those heavy ass chords. And, uh, yeah, it reflects that. I do like it. Um. It's one of the shorter songs, too. It's only 4 minutes, 16 seconds. You know, I think uh, Any Longer might have overstayed its welcome. But, yeah, good song. It's a good song. It's not like, uh, I, I wouldn't classify it like way super up there. But it's definitely, it's definitely a, a good song. It's definitely a song that I'll listen, that I enjoy listening to. And, uh, yeah, it's got some cool parts. Mainly just because it's 7-string. I do enjoy reasons to play 7-string. Even though I primarily play six strings, but, uh, you know, we get to play it on the seven. We didn't get to really play, uh, 
we've only played on a few songs so far that have a seven string. It was like Eddie, Melia, Eddie. I keep calling him Eddie. This is is this what is this what Boomer Guilty Gear does to you? You 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 keep calling Zato Eddie because that's when I joined Guilty Gear when he was called Eddie. <laughs> Um, then there's Melia and there's a, uh, I think like one other time that I've had to use a seven, but yeah, no, it's a good song. I like it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, not nothing really super technical to break down on the guitar or anything except for the solo. Solo is the most technical part of it. And, uh, yeah, just a song that grooves really hard. It's got that, um, it's got like that rock groove to it, but it's on the seven string. It's playing super heavy stuff so yeah that's about it for the video uh if you want to get this early this will be coming out today on the 27th for patrons uh later in the night and then it will be coming out for you guys here tomorrow wednesday on uh like in the morning sometime that's usually how i do it and if you want to get this early you know if you want to get future videos early it's about it's only a dollar a month and uh yeah that's over on patreon that's down below there's a uh, Teespring store where you can get shirts like uh, like like this like this rollback one, or uh, the new shirt that uh, we just put up there, which is a silly Doria shirt. You guys can go check it out. It's up there. Uh, link will also be down in the description. Um, we got the water bottle still. We got coldest water still. Still digging this thing. We'll see how long, but uh, I think it'll I think it'll be here to stay in this corner for however long I keep doing these series of videos. But uh. Let's see, what else? Um, Twitch, you can go over on Twitch if you want to go and check out any of the, uh, any streams that I do or support just by following on there or whatever. And, um, you know what? Like I said, uh, with Patreon, you know, get early access. One video that I am going to be doing that'll be coming out later this week is going to be a, uh, a revised version of the Guilty Gear references video. And that's because Giovanna exists and Gold Lewis exists. As well as the fact that I uh, missed, uh, I, I revised my original Guilty Gear reference video like eight different times and I kept writing stuff out in each revision. Don't ask me why I'm not used. This is why a lot of the things I do are unscripted, because whenever I do script stuff, I forget to write things down. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me why I'm like this. I just am. But uh, like, for example, I forgot Venom's instant kill in like XX was called Demi Borgir. I listen to Demi Borgir all the time. How the fuck did I miss that? One time, actually, one one uh, one incarnation of that script didn't have Cliff's references in there at all. And then after after I realized that, I had to go and redo everything. It was it was awful. But um, yeah, no, I'll be doing a revised version with Gold Lewis as well as Giovanna being added, um, as well as uh, correcting some stuff and adding a bunch more references that I wrote out or missed so check that out that'll be early on patreon uh when that comes out and then you guys will be able to see it here just letting you guys know that that's going to be out here seems appropriate because we have uh strive out now but with that i'm dan this is her box tv and uh i will see you guys in the next video because we only have like five more characters left in the entire soundtrack before we get to move on to other stuff i think but yeah I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God, that is such a cool riff to play.